His name is Omar Jao. Yeah. And I am Dikori Jao. Uh, what I am commonly called in society, Bobo. Yeah, we use his name, Omar Jao. Shoemaker. Call me the foot day doom. Uh, nine... And... Uh, and ninety-eight. Ninety-eight, Africa. Okay, nineteen ninety-eight. Nineteen ninety-eight, Africa. Yeah, he said yeah. he started this business. Yeah, he started this business. Mayari don't nineteen ninety-two, Gambia. He continued business from nineteen ninety-two. He said he started this business at Africa. Yeah, that's where he learned the job. Yeah. yeah. No, Mayan run. Mayan run the uncle. Okay. Hey, uncle and what he company. Yeah. He said he, uh, those days he went to Africa to visit his uncle, and his uncle um, is the one who introduced this job to him. Yeah, and he learned how to make the uh, shoes there. Then he finally come to the Gambia to establish his own workshop here. Mm -hmm. He said he started this job. Those days he was not even having a lot of materials. You understand? He just have a small table. That's where he used to repair shoes. And sometimes um, when he have some money, he go to buy leather, some leather and make two or three pairs when he sold them and he go and buy another materials. That, that's how he developed this business. Now he's able to make 50 to 100 pairs at once. The SRG, the SRG, we are more than a more SIL, Miliko Mikontina. A non Camille SIL, Gidi Sera Sera, Kilam Begada SIL, Milara or Dimoji, Miwana Mokopi, Mikara Miligo. He said, majority of this um, design, how he get this is when um, the customers brought shoes to make another um, shoe like that. He used to make the shoe and give it to the customer, but he used to keep a design of that shoe. That's how he was able to accumulate all these different kind of design. Sometimes he used to have customers from Europe, and as they, when they come here, they will just show him the design. He will have a copy of the design and make the shoe, give it to the customer. That's how he was able to accumulate all these designs that he made here. Hey, what is the difference? What is the difference? Yeah, because Gambia, the only fashion we buy from the only fashion color that we buy is Sierra Nibe. Hey, when you see me, maybe one guard or the what they come order, see me call them in Dakori. We want you to know, it's all mufalao. Hey, yeah, he said the price of the shoe differ. They are not having the same price. It depends on the type of shoe that you want. You understand? Sometimes um, when you come with a design, when a complicated design, it may require. Uh, for the price to go high. But when you just need this, this simple sandals that we made here, sometimes you may get it at a lower price. And also the price that we sell to those who normally buy shoes for the sale is also a different price. Yeah. No, for in a gara, Gambian bebe kala, paske mi wawara ko mami ya Gambian bebe. Kono for in a be, for in a be kala di gara. Mi joki for in a be kilian be garo be. Ko ben go ki mi o ilifong. To form daughter so for foreign abe walande se be garera a family. Kono kati gambe be be kala kumami ya be paske ko imbe ab. Yeah. He said he used to have many foreign customers, but at some time he also used to have some Gambian customers too. Normally when we have faced like Tobasti and Kurite, yeah. that is the time we sell most to the Gambians because they are everyone will need a new shoe, and new shirts and clothes something like that. Yeah. But when it comes to um, like during the season, when white, white many um, white people came, that's the time he have a lot of um, foreign customers. Yeah, but as of now, he's, he normally have one or two government customers that comes to buy. The only time that he sell at, at bunch is during this feast, like Tobaski and Kolite. There he can sell 100 pairs or 150 pairs for just two days. So, yeah, he, he said he's teaching me how to do it, but I also have a brother, but he traveled. Yeah, right now I am the one who is working here with him. I also have some younger brothers, but they are too young, they are small boys. Yeah, right now they are all going to school. Yeah, because to change my No, Esal gardo mi cheñera no ligere. Ko no wadi iway kontin de ha jamanu gardo. 
right now as he is teaching us he is also expecting let, let's say when he grow old understand to an extent that he cannot work we will be the one who will continue on the business and we will also have offsprings you know we will also teach them how to do it that's how it goes and also the way he make this shoe is um like he used to look at the um, latest design there are certain designs when you make them the shoe is spent here so long this is simply because it is an old-fashioned design as the way um the world goes that's how you also change design you look at the design that people require most that's how he used to make the shoe yeah. that is why any design that he made here it does not last for that long you will have customer somebody who need it uh, mi wada be heligere parce que mi mi no andi yeso si tayi be nangi ligere du wona hunde yanu yonde suka be nang hebe si ayi dum ligere bi amma mi mi yara du yorop ayi ko wadi problem he say right now um nowadays the type of children that we have they refuse to learn this on skill wall they all say they want to go to europe some of them are going through this bad way you know we have a lot of um boys young boys who will come here but they will not last for two or three weeks because they say they want to go to europe they cannot spend their life um, learning how to make this shoe so that is why he is trying to bring in his own children to teach them how to do this work yeah um sometimes i find it very hard understand especially when i was in the senior school i have to go to school immediately after coming from school i have to come here and help him with some work up to six o'clock or closing time then we close and go together yeah but right now i have graduated i am recently going to the college i'm attending the Gambia college and i have also completed my program there almost just waiting for my documents so here as i am waiting for my documents at this period i have to come here and help him yeah before my papers will be out uh i think like we used to we sometimes to advertise through through facebook as i am using facebook sometimes when we make a lot of design i do um post it in our facebook page sort of understand and i think that's the only platform that we have for the business yeah like talking of advertisement like like you need um vast advertisement I don't think we don't have that yet. Maybe in the future. Mimi mm alana -hmm. samde edimas. Ba ngono ba nda advertise mi gole de. No, ko be wo be ara no soda. Be ha be holla morom be mabbe. Be ngara. Hey, nyande wote debbo goddo tuba ko wi e gorko wi kam di fala mi yaltinde WhatsApp internet. Yeah, he said those days when he was here alone. The only way that he used to advertise the business is when people come they buy shoe and they go out they inform others about it and some people also used to come as you guys are doing here take a video of him and have short interview with him and go with it like that and somebody will see it and say i saw this video somewhere on facebook or other platforms that's how i become interested in the type of shoe that you are making that's what brought me here in those days that's how he used to get some customers through advertisement uh, he said when he was uh, when he came from Avicos, he come directly and opened a shop at Serakunda, where he spent 10 years. He was there working with two boys. Now he left them there and come and open a new workshop here. Ah, Fight at all, you know, be part of all fight. I have one in the one of them, I have one. I don't need Benjavi lady, the bill in the other business. Me don't call lady, I'm coming to your own business. Family, yo, Kodu and Tom, what you know, be part of the door, dal baby lady, the family, the bar out of the business. Me don't call lady, I'm coming to your own business. Hey, he said, like, there are a lot of um, shoemakers in the world, but he said, Many of them will say like Gambia is a small country and the country when it comes to economic is not that much it's not that much rich people are not that much wealthy in this country so I understand many of um, his friends whom he trained with 
at the same um, company in every coast. They refused to come here because they said this place, um, Gambia, is not a good business um, um, center for them. So for him, uh, uh, being a Gambian, he had no option. He have to come here and help his people, he establish his own um, business, and help his and help his own children. You understand? Yeah, that's what motivated him to come here and open business. Not because like he's getting a lot of money or stuff like that. Yeah. He said there are many Gambians who will need shoes of their own design, but they have to go to Dakar in order to make those kind of shoes. But when they realize that now he is, um, he, he can make them, now they don't need to go anywhere to make this type of shoe that they want. They have to come here and he will make it for them. For me, as a young person, I know it is not easy, like taking this kind of job. At the same time, I'm going to school, you understand? There are many people out there whom you know that, like they refuse to go to school because of, you know, because of they have one or two jobs to do. But for me individually, I take up this challenge to be going to school at the same time, I'm having, coming here, making sure, helping my father, and also having some knowledge about how to do it. I believe that one, one day or the other, I will also expand this company, and the world will know about this company. Yeah, I believe that one day um, I will raise the name of this company. Yeah, everyone will have knowledge of it. That's what I believe. Yeah, that's why, yeah, yeah, that's why um, I refuse to um, drop going to school. I say I will continue schooling. I know I'm just concentrating on this. It may have some side effects to me. Yeah, there are um, certain level, no matter how good you are at your work, if you are not educated, sometimes you find it very difficult. Yeah, like for example, as you guys are here, if you find me and my father, both of us are not educated, how will you be able to communicate to us? You know, it will be very um, difficult. Yeah.